Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday after the Wednesday of the Fed. Um, he was mildly dovish. The word disinflationary, I think, is being taken to a little bit of an extreme here, but he was mildly dovish, um, which is fine. Um, kind of got what you wanted, especially if you sold dollar yen at the open yesterday. Uh, that worked out pretty well. Let's take a quick look at what's going on. We didn't quite get to our little reach point in stocks yesterday. We sold a tiny bit, but we didn't get the chunk of it out. Uh, we're also we're just going to wait and be patient today for some stretchy stretches up near 4160, um, maybe even 4175 today. Uh, Nazi, same thing. We just didn't quite reach it, and of course we don't really trade Nazi. Uh, be careful, Nazi, now because um, Meta had some crazy earnings uh, yesterday. Anyway, we're being patient on that. Uh, crude doesn't look that good. I, I didn't watch OPEC too closely, but that's bearish engulfing crude, um, even though we were kind of dovish and risk assets went higher. Crude did not go higher. Looks like crude's fucking some people um, pretty good here. But again, no, no horse in this race. Kind of botched that up at 82.50. We were trying to sell, but we were just being a bit too greedy. Uh, let's go to currencies, where we make 98% of our money. Um, through the highs here in um, Aussie, Aussie rates next week. They got high inflation. They're going to raise. Aussie looks pretty robust here. Um, I wouldn't buy it per se here at the open at 71.49. Um, you know, this will flap around, even though the, the 8 a.m. systems are probably going to buy Aussie out of London. Uh, I don't think, I think that's a fade. So the systematics who we're going to buy Euro, buy Aussie, uh, buy cable, and they're basically going to sell dollars. I don't think, um, that's... I don't think this is something you want to follow today at the open because we're a little bit stretched. Dark CAD through 133.10. This is one of the worst trading pairs of the year this year. I don't know. I'm just like maybe not in tune with it or, or what the fuck's going on. But it just seems the vol is muted. I mean, we're 132.83 through this key 132.90, 133.10 support. Should be way the fuck lower. It's not. I don't know what the hell's going on, uh, dollar cad this year, but we have no love for that sucker. Euro, pretty straightforward. The support, uh, 109.30. Um, here at 110, I don't know. One, 1102 is the first high yesterday, so that's mild support today. We've already tested it, I guess, with the 03 print. Again, systems are going to buy this, um, at 8 a.m. London when they turn themselves on. So we might see a move through 25. Uh, I don't think that's worth trading today, and I don't think it's worth pre-planning for it um, in case in case they all got long yesterday. I don't know. So like we're kind of standing down uh, this morning on the currency side. Obviously, we have the BOE. Uh, and ECB. Both are going to raise 50. A lot of people are worried about the BOE being a little bit dovish. Uh, it seems very priced in. So Euro Sterling, let's have a look at this, uh, is to the moon, right? So we're basically from 87.50 to 89, the figure. Uh, can we see a little blip up through 89? Yes. Is it like, likely that we're going to have a reversal today just because people are way too short sterling? Perhaps. Uh, I certainly do not want to get long euro sterling at 89, um, 89 pence. So even though this looks like a break trade up here, one, two, three daily highs, uh, I'm fairly skeptical about what the hell is going on there. Plus you have sort of 
two and a half sigma at 89.16. This looks like a trap break to me, so be careful of that. Um, but anyway, point of it is, is BOE and ECB coming out today, both of them are going to hike 50. I guess if BOE only hiked 25 because they're nervous Nellies, that would cause a, a bit of a kerfuffle. But I don't think they're going to do that. Um, that would cause more fear than anything, I think, in the marketplace. And, and surely they're a little bit cautious about sterling collapsing. If they're worried about inflation, you, the last thing you want is your currency collapsing. So um, anyway, looking ahead, we don't have a lot going on in um, the cross, but in cable, this level is obviously important. 124, we've been talking about it now for whatever. It feels like a long time. 124.47, 124. I'm going to call it 45. 44, that bar. 46, that bar. Um, what's been the high today? I mean, can you just buy this through 124? with the idea that at some point we're probably going to take out the 124.50 highs. Um, and if and when we do take out the 124.50 highs, there's going to be a cacophony of long-term sterling buyers. Whether it makes sense or not, doesn't matter. This is fact. Um, all trend-following systems are going to have to trade at uh, 51, let's just say, between 45 and 55. So there's some money to be made there and this is our main focus today with a 124 45 level um, the rest of it looks like sort of sludgy we are long euro swiss um, we've been trading it we have a good average we talked about it yesterday there's a confluence of reasons to be long euro swiss not least the fact that europe is going to raise 50 basis points today be careful uh snb guys are going to be speaking post ecb um, you don't expect anything hawkish from them because, like we said yesterday, there's no inflation here in Switzerland. Our currency is a huge protector against inflation. Obviously, dollar Swiss at 90.71. It's gone up 10% this year. Um, gasoline prices are unmoved. So, say gas goes up 10, 15%. Our currency goes up 10, 15%. Um, the price at the pump doesn't change. Uh, we did have some spooky blips. You know, we, we were paying two Swiss and a quarter um, a liter there for like three weeks. But now we're right back down to sort of 185 a liter. Uh, and I know everyone thinks that's hysterically high, but this is Switzerland. Everything's hysterically high. So 12 bucks a gallon is normal here. Like, just don't use your car, asshole. Um, is kind of the theme. Or if you use it, you got to pay for it. Uh, it seems perfectly logical to me. Uh, but uh, I know a lot of you think the prices here are outlandish. They are outlandish compared to like Costa Rica. But um, where would you rather live? It's a good question. Anyway, I'm babbling about Swiss francs. Uh, we are core long Euro Swiss. And we are watching this cable level. Um, like the perennial hawk. Um, 124.45. This morning, we're just sitting tight. Uh, not much to do. I mean, you can, well, just not much to do, frankly. Um, so sit tight. Uh, if you've got some stuff uh, on, you just want to lightly trade extend, extended ranges uh, because nothing is going to change this morning, whereas a lot is going to change this afternoon. So if you see Euro extend itself, I don't know, down to 109.50, you might want to grab it. But these are all very unlikely moves. The one move you do not want to fade this morning is cable up through 124.45. Just because there's going to be forced buying there. Um, and these systems don't really give a shit whether it's pre-BOE or not. And so even maybe an hour before the BOE, you might see dealers force that level. Uh, and if they do, there's still money to be made there. Um, so just be prepared for it. 
just looking at any numbers pre-BOE, nope. So 1 p.m. Swiss time, BOE, um, it'll be interesting to see how the vote goes and see if they raise 50. And then obviously Lagarde comes in 215. Press conference is after U.S. numbers. We have claims. Uh, and then Jordan speaks. SNB Jordan is at 6.30 p.m. So if you're trading Swiss crosses, uh, just be careful, right? Jordan speaking, uh, 6.30. This will be important because he's going to comment on what the SNB thinks about what the ECB did. Uh, and if the SMB says, eh, I'm glad they raised, but we don't need to, Euroswiss is going to shoot the moon. If Jordan goes, we're really happy with a strong currency because it protects us from inflation, Euroswiss is going to get kicked in the balls. So just be aware um, of what the hell is going on. Anyway, Sterling Cables are, is our horse today. Uh, we're just going to wait for the level, trade around it, try and make some money around this big level. Otherwise, we're going to watch Lagarde and see what the hell she says. She never really says too much. Um, go from there. I feel like I'm babbling here, so now I'm going to shut up. Cable's the horse. Good luck out there, people.